Hello everybody. In this video we are going to derive expectation and variance of exponential distribution. For this we are going to be needing the general formula for expectation of continuous random variable which is expectation is equal to integral from negative infinity to infinity x times the density function. And we're going to be needing density function of exponential with parameter lambda will be fx of x little x will be lambda e to the negative lambda x if x is greater than 0 and 0 if x is less than 0. Now we're going to start with the definition of expectation. So we know that expectation for continuous random variables is integral from negative infinity to infinity x times the density function which is lambda e to the negative lambda x dx. And since we know that exponential random variable is supported from 0 to infinity, we are going to change the limits of integration here from 0 to infinity instead of negative infinity to infinity. And we are going to obtain x times, we can take out lambda in front of the integral sign. So we are going to have lambda e to the negative lambda x dx. Now we are going to integrate this function. Here you can either use integration by parts or u substitution. Let u be negative lambda x and then continue. I would like to do integration by parts. So integration by parts, I would like to apply practical tabular method. So we're going to pick one of the function as our u, which is x in our case, and other function will be our dv, which is e to the negative lambda x. So we're going to differentiate u, we're going to integrate dv. So derivative of x is 1, and derivative of 1 is 0. So we're done for this column. Antiderivative of e to the negative lambda x is negative 1 over lambda e to the negative lambda x. And if we take antiderivative one more time, it will be negative 1 over lambda times negative 1 over lambda, which is 1 over lambda squared e to the negative lambda x. The power does not change. Now we're going to cross multiply with alternating plus negative signs. So here we're going to obtain x times negative this function will be negative 1 over lambda times x e to the negative lambda x and 1 times this function will be subtracted from the previous one which will be negative 1 over lambda squared e to the negative lambda x. And we know that in front of our integral sign, we had the lambda. So let's not forget that either. And this integral is from 0 to infinity. Now we're going to apply the fundamental theorem of calculus. We're going to plug in upper boundary minus lower boundary. So when you plug in upper boundary infinity, it will be e to the negative infinity, which is 0. e to the negative infinity goes to 0. So as we go to negative infinity, the function approaches to 0. So this is 0 when we plug in upper boundary. And this is also 0 because e to the negative infinity. So 0 minus. Now we're going to plug in the lower boundary. If we plug in here 0, x destroys everything, so it's going to be 0. And if we plug in here 0, we're going to obtain e to the 0, 
which is 1 times negative 1 over lambda squared. And we had lambda in front of the integral sign. So this will be negative times negative positive 1 over lambda squared times lambda will be 1 over lambda. So this is the expectation of the exponential random variable. So we obtain expectation as 1 over lambda. So 1 over parameter is the expectation for exponential random variable. Now we're going to use this fact and derive the variance. Let's start with the definition of variance. Definition of variance is expectation of x squared minus expectation of x the quantity squared. We already found expectation here and we're going to square it to obtain 1 over lambda squared. Now we need to find what the expectation of x squared is. So for this we're going to use again the definition of expectation. Definition of expectation for continuous random variables integral from negative infinity to positive infinity x squared times the density function in our case our density function is lambda e to the negative lambda x dx and we are going to change the limits of integration because this density function is supported from 0 to infinity so from 0 to infinity x squared times we can pull out lambda to the front e to the negative lambda x dx here we're going to use integration by part it might be a little bit tedious but if we apply the tabular method it will be fast and practical so we're going to apply here integration by parts we're going to pick up u and dv so our u function will be x squared our dv function will be e to the negative lambda x now we are going to differentiate u until we obtain 0 derivative of x squared is 2x derivative of 2x is 2 derivative of 2 is 0 antiderivative of e to the negative lambda x is 1 over negative lambda times e to the negative lambda x so negative 1 over lambda times e to the negative lambda x. The power is not changing. And if we take the antiderivative one more time, it will be negative 1 over lambda times negative 1 over lambda, which is positive 1 over lambda squared e to the negative lambda x. And one more time, it will be negative 1 over lambda cubed e to the negative lambda x. Now we're going to the cross multiply with alternating plus minus and plus signs we had lambda in front of the integral sign now x squared times this function will be negative 1 over lambda x squared e to the negative lambda x and 2x times this function will be negative 2x 1 over lambda squared e to the negative lambda x and 2 times this function we have negative here so it will be negative 1 over lambda cubed 2 e to the negative lambda x and this will be from 0 to infinity if we plug in upper boundary infinity we're going to obtain here 0 because e to the negative infinity is 0 e to the negative infinity is 0 e to the negative infinity is 0 now we're going to plug in the lower boundary if we plug in here 0 x here destroys whole function 0 x here destroys whole function 0 here e to the 0 will be 1 so it will be negative 2 over lambda cubed so 0 minus minus 2 over lambda cubed and we have lambda in front of the function so we're going to obtain 2 over lambda squared 
So now we can go back to definition of variance. So what we found is expectation of x squared. So variance of x is equal to expectation of x squared minus expectation of x the quantity squared. We already declared this as 1 over lambda squared and we have here 2 over lambda squared. And 2 over lambda squared minus 1 over lambda squared is 1 over lambda squared. So this is the variance of exponential random variable.